In uh, this video tutorial, I'm going to review how to multiply various polynomials. Um, so, key thing with these problems is, if you want to know, is it multiplying, adding, or subtracting? Look in, in between the parentheses. If you look in between there, that'll kind of tell you what to do. So, we don't see addition, subtraction here. Um, even though it's not written, this is multiplying. So, how you're going to multiply polynomials, especially if it's just two polynomials here, how we know it's two is one set of parentheses, second set of parentheses. What we're going to do is you're going to distribute a whole lot in these problems. So in this front parentheses we have three different terms and back here we have two terms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this 4x squared. What we're going to do is we're going to take that and we're going to multiply it to both pieces in this back parentheses. So I'm going to multiply it to the 2x and to the 1. So 4x squared times 2x is going to get of us 8x cubed. 4x squared times positive 1 is just positive 4x squared. Next, I'm going to take my next term here. So our next term is x. I'm going to take that and distribute it through. So I'm going to do x times 2x, which is positive 2x squared. Then I'm going to take x times positive 1, and that's just plus x. So again, we're just taking each term, distribute it through. Our third term there is the negative 5, so we're going to take negative 5 times 2x. Negative 5 times 2x is negative 10x. Then we're going to take negative 5 times positive 1. Negative 5 times positive 1 is negative 5. So I went through and I took every single term in my front parentheses and distributed it through the second parentheses there. Next, all I have to do is I have to take this line and we're just going to combine like terms. So I start with the highest power, which is 8x cubed. So I have an 8x cubed. Don't have any others, so I'm just going to be left with 8x cubed. Then I'm going to go to my next lowest power. So I have a 4x squared and a 2x squared. 4x squared plus 2x squared is 6x squared. After x squared come x's, so I have an x minus 10x, which is negative 9x. And then last we have our constants, which is negative 5. I have no other constants there, so minus 5. So when you multiply those two to polynomials, we get that is our solution, and this is also in standard form. Now I'm just going to talk you through two more problems, but we're not, I'm not actually going to go out through all the multiplying. So if you want to see another example of what we distribute here, with this one, we have three terms in front and three terms in back. So what that would look like is you're going to take this 3x squared, and you're going to multiply it to the first, to the second, into the third term. You would take your next term here, which is x, you would take it to the first, to the second, and to the third. And then you take your third term in the front parentheses, multiply it to the first, to the second, and to the third. And then once you would do all that multiplying out, you would combine like terms. Uh, one last example that you might see is we have 2k plus 6 cubed. Now remember, anytime you see a parenthesis to any power, this is the same thing as that parenthesis written out three times. So we would have 2k plus 6, 2k plus 6, and 2k plus 6. How you would do this one is you don't want to try and work with all three at the same time. I would just start with two parentheses multiply them together, and then work in the third. So what you would do is you would take you know, your 2x, distribute it through, take your 6 and distribute it through. And after you multiply those two, so you kind of hold off on this thought for a second, just ignore that. You multiply those two, combine like terms, and then say you end up with, I don't know, like 4k squared plus 24k plus 36 as your answer, then you take your result 
and you multiply it by the back parentheses. So then you would take the 4k, multiply through 24k, multiply through. Take the 36, multiply it through. Um, it does get a little bit messy with all these lines, but I, I do that more as a means of keeping track and making sure I distributed every term I need to. So that is multiplying polynomials.